Rise, which used to be the rising star of K-pop, is also one of the most controversial ones. They are tangled with one scandal after another, till they start. But now they aren't just caught up in not one, but more than four big scandals. And these controversies, well, they have caused quite a stir among fans, and the industry too. So let's delve into the details of each scandal and analyze their implications. Before that, for context for new stands, RISE has always been a controversial group. One of the group's first scandals came prior to their debut after the members of RISE were accused of big company favoritism. In August 2023, it was revealed they were the newest models for the brand new Sensa just one month before their debut. Many netizens even called them spoiled brats, but soon everyone forgot about it when Su and Gan's private photos were leaked online kissing an unknown woman. Everything went down, and shortly after this, he was accused of bad-mouthing his senior Park Ji-hoon, stealing from his roommate, and smoking in the dorm. Regardless of the chains of accusations, the only evidence found was about him going to the hotel with an underage girl. Most of the international fans were defending him, but when Sung Han officially apologized and owned up to the accusations, the hate was unreal. He asked to leave the group, and, well, not shockingly enough, he did leave the group. And after this, Rise just started going from one controversy to another, from facing plastic surgery allegations to being called untalented. K-netizens were really after them, and if you think that now they must be on their tiptoes, well, the answer is no, definitely not. Rumors were that Rise was going to have a comeback in April, but looks like they have run into some problems before it even happened. Recently, a picture of Anton on a date with an unknown woman leaked online by an anonymous Twitter user, even though you can't really see the face of the man in the picture. The account that posted the picture alleged that it was Anton. They posted it with a caption expressing the fans' annoyance with Anton for not being active on Weavers even during his vacation. Another account then posted a screenshot of DMs they received in which the other person said that they knew the woman who was supposedly on a date with Anton. They said that the woman in question isn't a celebrity, but she lives in New Jersey. Most of the international fans tried to defend Anton by saying that the man's face was blurred and cropped, so we can't say anything for sure. But soon after somebody noticed that the man in the picture was carrying a green bag that Anton had been seen with before, the initial tweet got over 1.9 million views when it was shared on March 11th, but it was later taken down, probably to avoid a potential lawsuit. Most argue that the bag doesn't prove anything since it's a bag that anyone can have. Some netizens said that it was unfair for Soon Gan to be on hiatus for allegedly dating someone when Anton is supposedly doing the same and is facing no consequences. And if you think this is all well situation, got worse when hardcore fans even tried to find the girl who posted this picture. When Anton went back to New Jersey, he hung out with a bunch of friends and one of his friends seemed to be the girl that he took a picture with. She posted the picture as a highlight on her Instagram account. There it started all. She received so many hate comments that she had to make her account private and post a story to clarify everything. The friend said that she had never dated Anton and clarified that they had been friends ever since they were children. She also said that the two had been hanging out in a group setting and posted other pictures that showed her and Anton with their other friends. But still, some fans are really hating Anton for his behavior now. Rise, Rise just can't seem to get a break at the moment, damn. Anton was spotted holding hands with a girl in New Jersey, and I say spotted because his face isn't even in the picture. This has since been confirmed by the girl in the photo. She uploaded an Instagram story saying that her and Anton are not dating and they have never dated. But that's not all. Anton is also accused of hating Koreans. According to the rumors, the Instagram account with the name I love Samsung so much, which is racist toward Koreans, apparently belonged to Anton before recently being deleted. It was apparently connected to him because most of his friends were following that page. According to the individual who discovered this account, the username is seen as an insult made by foreign-born Asians to Korean citizens by belittling the well-known Korean brand Samsung. 
Since Anton was born and raised in America, some people think he's insulting Korean's image while living abroad. And this was pretty messed up because even the international fans weren't able to defend him. Comments like, yikes. Dating is whatever and should have never been an issue. But now that real messed up. Go back to your country. Being a Rice fan isn't for the weak. And guess what? Even after all this, SEM Entertainment has not yet released a statement regarding this controversy. And if you think this was too much, well, the controversies don't end here. On March 11th, a Twitter user shared the images of Sohi that caused quite a stir among fans. They uploaded a picture of him kissing the cheek of his male classmate. Although there wasn't a lot of context given to the picture many fans assumed that he was gay, fans immediately came to his defense saying that it was wrong for people to assume his sexuality just because he was being affectionate towards his male friend. But this isn't the first when Sohi has been targeted. Soon after SEM Entertainment announced that he would be one of the seven members of RISE, some of his pre-debut photos began circulating on various South Korean online forums. But one specific photo caught the attention of fans. It was the photos of Sohee with his friend at a hunting bar called Glam a Hunting Bar. It is a place where people go for hookups. And not only that, some of his pre-debut photos included a screenshot of what was believed to be his Instagram account. Technically, there's nothing bad about it, but the post included an explicit phrase that starts with an F word. Along with this, many fans observed that Sohee's friend had a tattoo on his leg. In the picture, the tattoo was partially visible under his jeans. The tattoos represent the Aizumi style, a design associated with certain gang groups in Korea. Cause of this, many fans thought either Sohee was friends with certain dangerous gangs or he was coming from some gang as well. Some netizens even commented things like, he does have the face of a lowlife thug, LOL. I don't even want to associate myself with a guy who goes to a hunting pocha. So why would I spend money to stand one? But, you know, the worst part is even after all these controversies, like their private pictures keep getting leaked and facing all these allegations, SM Entertainment is just letting it happen. They haven't even responded to these accusations. The members themselves had to hold a live stream in which they addressed the recent rumors about them. In the stream, Anton openly acknowledged what had happened recently and appeared visibly distressed by the situation. He apologized for how the fans felt. Most of the international fans felt very angry that they had to apologize in the first place, especially since it wasn't their fault that people made up stories about them. And Korean netizens, on the other hand, don't really seem convinced by the apology. It's kind of crazy that they have literally no proof of the members dating and are still hating on them based on their own assumptions. Now, we want to know your thoughts about this. Do you agree with what netizens are saying about the group? Let us know in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.